Okay. Cheers. So, an an issue with this is obviously there are people who you know are dealing with the cold, as Steve talked about that. People who work outside, but also people who don't have a home, and this is bitter cold and overnight. I mean, we're you see those temperatures dipping down. And those maybe if furnaces break, you lose right? power, anything mm -hmm. like that. And there's a lot of warming centers in our area in the Fox Valley that are opening, uh, helping people find some find some help during this cold. Kristen Allen live at the Salvation Army of Greater Green Bay this morning, and that's opening its doors later today. Kristen, good morning. Well, there's a variety of different items that are inside of here that they have to help people who are coming in to escape the cold. And the doors open here at this particular warming center, the Salvation Army of Greater Green Bay, in less than an hour, 8 o'clock this morning. And one thing that they have is this rack of coats here. And so anyone who comes in is welcome to take a coat with them, take one and wear it while they're in here uh, warming up as well. There's also some other items they have set out, and that includes things like blankets over here. Uh, they also have uh, hand warmers and foot warmers that are out, gloves, mittens, hats, snacks, uh, lots of things inside of here that people can take with them if they need to warm up or things they want to take advantage of while they are sitting in here uh, trying to escape the cold. Is there any criteria for opening the warming center? What needs to happen for that? Uh, for here at the Salvation Army of Greater Green Bay, they open when the temperature or the wind chill is zero or below. And the Salvation Army of Greater Green Bay plans on staying open this week through Friday. And uh, they, even though I think there might be some relief later in the week on Friday, it's still going to be very cold out. So they plan on staying open through this week. But anytime throughout the rest of the winter when it gets that cold out, they will be open. So Kristen, you're at the Union Court location there. That's on Green Bay's west side. What other resources are out there for people in, in other parts of our viewing area? Well, there are resources that you can uh, utilize when you come in. So, for example, here we know the Salvation Army does a lot of work within the community. So they have caseworkers here. And if you are in need of uh, certain uh, resources, they can help you out with that when you come in here. So one thing that they have here um, that I wanted to point out is that people can take showers here if they need to take showers. So here is a sheet with the shower schedule. So if you need a shower when you come in, that's something that you can take advantage of. There's also other information here if you are looking for housing. There's information about people you can meet with if you need information about housing. There is a schedule for having, uh, you can visit a certain laundromat and uh, do your laundry for free certain days of the week. And then also, if you take a look over here in this back corner, there is a whole schedule where you can see the different hours and times and places for food pantries in our area as well. So there are lots of things that they can help you out with if you come in to uh, the Salvation Army. And there's one more thing I did want to mention as well before I forget. I was just speaking with someone here at the Salvation Army, and if you recall the Coats for Kids campaign that happened, they have a lot of extra coats that are left over. So starting tomorrow on Wednesday, every Wednesday, you can go to the old thrift shop location, which is at 1125 West Mason, and you can get a free coat. They have adult sizes and child sizes. So if you need a coat for winter, you can go there and get a free coat every Wednesday starting tomorrow. It's going to be from 2 to 4.30 p.m. The only thing you need to bring is your ID and proof that you live in Brown County. That's good. Such good resources, important for everyone to know about. We appreciate you filling us in and, and all of that. At